All right, welcome back. It's still the 4th of May, 2022. So, after we have dealt with insecurity, the second most important thing we need to do is energy. We need to have energy. And when I say energy, I'm talking about power. How we are going to power up our industrial revolution. Everything in life is run with energy. You go to work. You see that you are getting light from the national grid or you are powering your plants with generators. That's energy. Without energy, a nation is stagnant. Without energy, you can't think straight. You close on work, you go home and there's no light and that frustration is there. You are just frustrated and so pissed off and annoyed. You sleep in the heat. For businesses, they need energy. Without energy, they can't run. They are going to be running at a loss. On businesses, their goods are perishable. If there's no energy, how do they freeze them? How do they keep them fresh? Imagine spa not having lights. All their butters are going to melt. So we need energy to run our economy. And do we have it? We have what it takes to create energy. We have it in abundance. If you want to run on diesel, you can. But we don't have a functional refinery. So it's really, really bad. Things need to start functioning right. Refinery broke down from the time of IBB or Abacha, is it? I'm talking of in the 90s. Up till today, 2022, we don't have a functional refinery. Nigeria imports fuel. Why should we be importing fuel at this time? Why? It's wrong. Why should we be importing fuel? Something we use to create. Over here, we have refineries. We refine our products. We, have, we get fuel, we get uh, kerosene, we get diesel. But now, we've been importing for decades. On government upon government, when Jonathan came, I said, okay, he's a prof, you know, he's learned, woods, end of day, nothing. No refinery. We cannot, no gas. Last year, we used to buy a 25 kilogram of gas, 6,400. As of today, it's 16,000 naira. Why? We keep importing, importing. And importing is one thing that kills an economy. Any economy that is so bent on importing is going to die. Because what you are imported are actually goods that were produced by another country. People earn salaries for producing those goods. Those people in return pay tax to the government. Circular flow of income. It flows there. But here you sit down, you wait for the government to import, and they bring in fuel and diesel, and you buy. Why? Why are we doing that? There's no circular flow of income. At best, import duties is what goes to the government. So more needs to be done. We need to create our own energy. We have the people who can do it. We have the people who are knowledgeable. What is so difficult? Dangote is, is making a refinery. And the refinery is taking like forever to come to life. Go to the Niger Delta. Just uh, two weeks, last week, yeah, just last week, there was a, an explosion in a local refinery and over 200 people died. People are stealing crude oil and refining it locally. Come on, people are doing that. And the whole almighty government of Nigeria cannot get a refinery running. For decades, they spent money trying to fix old refineries, spent billions of dollars. All those money went into people's pockets. Nothing was done. So the government actually needs to be intentional. We need to go after our goals. We need to set a goal. In 2023, please vote for a president who has track record, who you have seen to deliver. Don't just vote for anybody. Vote for who can deliver results. We don't want people who come and make mouth and say all sort of rubbish. I actually supported Buhari in 2015. For one reason, I felt he's the ex-general who will be able to deal with insecurity issues. But what has happened? It has worsened. So vote for somebody who is credible. 
I'm not going to vote on its sentiments. Vote for someone who is somebody who will come and say, yeah, this is what I want to do. I have respect for Basanjo for one reason. GSM. GSM came into Nigeria doing his tenure. I don't care the story on how, but he came into his tenure and I saw the employment it actually created. Today, we have so many phone companies in Nigeria who have employed Nigerians. We have those who sell recharge cards. We have those who make phone calls on the road. We have those who import parts for phone. We have those who repair phones now. All because of one thing that a government did. Brought in GSM. We have communication. Because of that, we have the internet on our phones. We have internet companies that have sprung up. Swift, TZ, Spectranet. That created millions of, of employment. Why won't I respect him? He did something that I can see and say, okay, fine, he did this. Can I say so for every other president that has come to rule Nigeria? Why he was so bent on rail tracks? He wanted to do the rail, rail lay the rail for Nigerians. Infrastructure, it's good. But so far, it has proved to be bad. Because they did not secure it. They didn't secure it. Now Amechi is saying that there are so many security features that they are supposed to put in place. They are sensors and a lot of other things. Come on. You don't have security in place and you are running a business. It's wrong. It's wrong. You are supposed to make sure it is secured. Because the, mo the most important thing to always secure is a human life. You cannot give that back. Families are in pain today. We can't give that back. So we have to start doing right. Do what is right. Follow procedure. So energy needs to be sorted in Nigeria. The trains are running. They are running on energy. In those days, we used to have tra trains that run on coal. Now we have those who, which run on gas. Energy is vital because you need energy to create and produce anything. Without energy, I can't make this video. So until you close and go, go home every day and there's power in your house, there's power, you are work, there's power, power, there's no power cuts, you can say, okay, yes, Nigeria is like taking a step towards the right path. Until you stop hearing that there are, that there are security issues, people are dying everywhere. You know that, yes, we are taking the right path. First of all, Nigeria, please, the government, since you are acting like you don't know what to do, deal with the security one, number two, energy. And in the next episode, I'm going to talk about the third thing. We are Nigeria. We are dying.